the first call is a uh, LF. LF is a low frequency. A uh, low frequency is basically a few restriction or air restriction. Uh, a few fuel restriction is basically a problem with a, a fuel filter, a fuel contaminated, or or fuel lines clogged. Air restriction is basically a problem with the air filter or problem with the insulation of the sun shield of the generator. If the output voltage is uh, high output voltage, over voltage, high output voltage, more than 10%, for example, uh, the output voltage is 150 volts, not 120, 150 or 160. What happened in that case? If the output voltage is high, more than 10%, you have two possibilities. One possibility is an open neutral. Other possibility is a bad winding. Uh, the last one is the generator is running, but uh, no output, no output power, no produce power. Uh, there are different possibilities. The most common possibility is uh, the, the, the breaker on the generator is bad. You need to verify the voltage before at the input of the breaker. If the voltage of the input of the breaker is good and in the output nothing, probably the breaker is broken. Other possibility is no excitation. Remember, we have two types of generators armature type or generator type. Uh, the armature type uh, is uh, the excitation is produced with brushes and uh, that excitation is coming from the ignition switch. If my diesel engine is a mechanical fuel injection, probably uh, the, the problem is at the input of the fuel injection pump, mechanical fuel injection pump. I have an example here and on the screen you have another example. Uh, this is a rotary mechanical fuel injection pump. Rotary, because this is the input, the output per each cylinder, mechanical fuel injection pump. But all the pumps at the input, they have one solenoid. Other pumps have a solenoid similar to this one, or the solenoid that you have on the screen right now. The solenoid have a positive and negative, exactly the same in this pump, positive and negative in order to open or close the solenoid and the fuel enter or not. This is the most critical solenoid in a mechanical uh, fuel injected diesel engine. Normally, when I have problems like this, that the, the engine cramp but no start, I visit the boat with two portable tanks and with two priming pumps, ball pumps, and uh, I connect my, my, my portable tank directly to the generator and I start the generator with my fuel. If the generator start immediately with my fuel, it's because uh, the problem is in the fuel system of the boat and you need to follow the, the fuel lines on the boat and verify where is clogged the system. The needle stay in the yellow area is because the battery needs charge. The needle goes to the green area, the battery is good. Simple. Use the load tester. Right. The, the generator, the engine right now have water in the cylinder one or in the cylinder six or in two cylinders. And uh, what is the solution? We need, we need remove the engine, remove the head, verify where is the water on the cylinder, like in the picture that you have right now. This is water in one cylinder. And the solution is normally rebuild the engine. Uh, can you repair partially only that cylinder? Yes, it's possible. In my, in my diesel class, I explained that procedure, how to hunt the cylinders, replace the ring, the piston, this is possible. And this is one of the projects in our diesel class. Okay, if you have water on the cylinder, uh, finito, the problem is fixed. This is other common problem. The other possibility is that the problem is not on the salt water circuit, it's on the coolant circuit. Ah, in the coolant circuit, I need to verify if my coolant pump or circulating pump or fresh water pump is good. I, I need to verify that uh, the hole that all the uh, coolant pump have in the bottom is not leaking. You need to verify that the coolant pump doesn't have play. If, if, you, if you found a little play on the pulley, it's because the chaff is broken and the coolant pump is out. You need to verify also if uh, the thermostat housing uh, is good. If the thermostat internally is opening and closed properly, Check the videos about the thermostat housing in my diesel book. The procedure to verify if the thermostat open or close according with the temperature. Check, 
check the expansion tank uh, uh, cap or radiator cap is exactly the same. Verify that the cap open and close is exactly the same like the thermostat. Check the reservoir of the coolant, the reservoir that you have on the, on the screen right now, and verify that the water is in the limit. Normally when the engine is off, low temperature, the coolant, the level of coolant should be located in the bottom uh, mark. When the engine is too hot, the level of the coolant should be in the second mark, in the top mark. If this is okay, it's because the coolant system is working properly.